hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video i know there's an elephant in the room and you're like what's this well i've tried to create a clone of myself using green screen so this person will appear and disappear just like this anyway the point of this video is for me to talk about some of the university truths that a lot of people forget to mention and that people don't really talk about before you go to university so let's get started okay so a lot of people tend to say oh my god freshest week is going to be the best week of your life blah 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 and so you go in with these high expectations thinking that freshest week is going to be amazing right and believe me there are going to be many of you who will find that freshest week is just a normal week for you guys a normal sort of going out sort of sesh thing that you would have done with your friends from high school secondary school or your a levels so people go in like oh my god freshest week's the best well for some of you you may absolutely love freshest week like it may be a really good week but for some others, you may be like, I've already experienced it before. But also don't feel pressure to feel like you need to drink every day because you don't have to. Believe me, there will be other people who are staying in and who are watching movies and taking away food. So be warned about Fresh This Week because there's this sort of really overhyped sort of scenario that it's going to be amazing. It will be good for some people, like really good because you can make new friends and stuff like that. But on the other hand, some people have already experienced going out all the time and getting absolutely hammered that for them freshest week isn't as it was expected to be or isn't as hyped as everyone was making it out to be another thing is people will say to you something like this university is easier than a levels if you can do a levels you can do university let me tell you something university is a completely different ball game to a levels because during a levels you're babied quite a lot the teachers tell you what to do the teachers say you need to do this homework the teachers are always on your case at university you're left to do things on your own because at university you're not babied and so that is one thing that's different you have to take your own initiative to do things and to go to lectures to do assignments and stuff like that and believe me a lot of people think or before they go to university that oh my god if i did a levels then i can definitely skive through university well believe me university is not always as easy as they say it is and there are many people who go to university who actually fail their first year of university or their second year of university or their third year of university because they kind of get lost in the source and a bubble that oh my god university is easier than a levels and then when they realize when they get to university that oh my god university actually isn't easier than a levels that they're like that they're put in a bad mood or they lose motivation to work hard they lose motivation to work hard or there's no more energy to work hard because you're kind of shocked that the reality of university is that in fact it's not as easy as a levels see the other thing is that what can happen is for some people they may end up partying quite a lot and you may get into a habit of going out all the time and waking up the next day with a hangover that hangover then leads to you being like I'm not going to go into lectures today so then you start this routine going out hangover not going into lectures then you realize you're behind in all of your work and then as a result you decide to not go into lectures or not going to university because you want to catch up on the lectures that you missed on and then that becomes a nasty cycle of going out getting hung over missing lectures missing lectures to catch up on the lectures that you missed on and then you just end up not going into uni at all and then from that it just spirals out of control you start to lose motivation you start to feel really bad about yourself and you just end up not performing academically as well as you thought you could have done or you were capable of so it's really important to make sure that you have a really good balance of your going out sobering up but also making sure that you make time to go to lectures so that you don't fall in this nasty cycle of miss lectures, catch up on lectures by not going to lectures and then potentially failing. Some people may also say you are going to make many friends at university. Wow, let me tell you something. Maybe during Freshers Week there are going to be a lot of people that you meet and these people may be 
your friends. You may end up making a lot of friends, hey? But don't be surprised if you only make one or two friends and emphasis on friends because it's easy to make acquaintances or it's easy to be someone who knows a lot of people so if you go to university don't be disheartened if you only have one or two friends or you may not even have any friends at all but that's fine because there are many people in exactly the same position as you that was one thing I struggled with at first when I went to university I'm a people's person so I do make a lot of friends but in reality I knew quite a lot of people but I wouldn't necessarily call them my friends as such they were just people that I knew but in reality in second year I realized that I only really truly have like two or three friends and by friends I mean people that I can call that I can text on a daily whenever I have a problem so when you go into university go in with an open mind that you may not make that many friends or you may not make any friends at all but it's fine as long as you're enjoying your degree and you're able to work on your own then fair enough that's cool there are some of you who may be able to make a lot of friends and there are people who are beanox and they do have a lot of friends but for you who doesn't have that many friends don't be disheartened don't put yourself down because believe it or not there are a lot of people in university who only have one or two friends actual friends and the rest are just people they associate with when they go out clubbing or when they do extracurricular activities university can be a very very lonely place that is something that people don't talk about you'll experience it there's going to be one point in your life during your university experience where you will feel incredibly lonely very lonely i have never experienced loneliness as bad as this until i went to university May not necessarily because i didn't have friends i do have friends you can have a lot of friends at uni and still be lonely that is one thing that is maybe a new experience that some of you guys may have when you get to university okay so of course it sounds really strange that yes you have a lot of friends and you're somehow lonely the reason why this can happen is especially if you're staying in halls of residence there is a lot of time in university when you're actually on your own accord so this might just be because people are, are at school or at uni studying and you're at home on your own in this room and there's no one about and it's very very real or even just at night you'll just be sitting there in this room and you'll think wow I'm on my own in my own space no one is around me whereas when you're at home you'll always have people around you'll have your mom you'll have your dad your nan your granddad or your siblings who'll be popping in there'll be some sort of noise some sort of commotion going about whereas at university there can be moments of complete and utter silence where you are just yourself you are with yourself you are one with yourself and in that time it can get quite lonely so yes you can have a lot of friends but you can still feel lonely another thing is if you were one of the smartest in your school be prepared to be humbled at university because at university you will be in a classroom with other people in the same intelligence as you or people who are less intelligent as you based on a levels let's just say um and you might be the best you know in your class you've always done really well and then all of a sudden at university you're at the bottom of the league table you're no longer at the top and for some people that can actually be a lot it's really something that's unspoken about because obviously if you're an intelligent person you don't really go about saying it but people know you're the smartest you're the top of your game but then when you get to university you realize that oh my gosh you're put at the bottom of the intelligence list and it's absolutely fine because the reason is universities test you differently to the way they test you in A levels so yes of course if you did extremely well you are intelligent but maybe you just haven't adapted to the way that universities test your intelligence and that's something that you need to work on so don't be disheartened if you were the best in your class you always got A's and A stars in your class but then all of a sudden at university you're not performing as well as you want it just takes some time it takes some adjusting to but be prepared to not be at the top of your class when you get to university especially if you were used to being at the top of your class in a levels another thing they tell you is first year is going to be the best years of your life or university is going to be the best years of your life let me tell you something let me tell you something let me tell you 
I know people who were very mentally strong during their A-levels and when they came to university, they were broken, they were shattered into pieces. And that's because we go into universities with these high expectations, expecting it to be like a, a, a story, a fairy tale, when in reality, it's not really like that. And so people go in there, happy, clappy, happy Joe. They've lost their support network that was keeping them strong during their A-levels or during school. And then all of a sudden, they're thrown into a lion's den and they just crumble. And as a result of that, it ends up being that first year is one of the worst years of their life or the whole three years that they're at university. It is the worst years of your life so if you go to university and you're like oh my gosh why am i not enjoying it like everyone said that i would or everyone else around me appears to be doing don't you worry about it because there are a lot of other people in exactly the same position as you and if you feel that way i would suggest you either think about changing courses changing university or thinking of a backup plan like say you take a gap year you do an apprenticeship or something else that removes you from that circle, from that aura that's making you feel really bad. Because, believe me, many, many, many people do not enjoy university. As there are many people who do love university, don't get me wrong, but people never talk about the people who hated university. You've got to go to university with an open mind, not expecting the best, but not expecting the worst and seeing where this university journey takes you because that way no one can break or disappoint your expectations. I know people who have failed their first year, people who have failed their second year, people who have failed their third year, people who have dropped out, people who are just unhappy with themselves because we get warped in this bubble at uni that you know it, it's a completely different world as you'll see but as i said don't feel like you are the only one in that position you are not the only one in that position and if you start to feel those feelings i suggest you take action and try and do some of the things that i just mentioned before personally for me i was excited before i went to university i thought oh my god i can't wait for first year it's going to be the best year of my life I went into first year and honestly it wasn't even as good as I thought it would be. I started to develop anxiety. I never really had anxiety that much, like I just got a bit worried. But then when I went into university in my first year, that's when I knew what anxiety was. I had never had anxiety as bad as I did during first year. And when I went into first year, that's when I experienced proper anxiety. But I'm not trying to scare you guys, you just need to know that you need to be prepared for these things you need to know that these things do happen if i knew or if someone had told me before you may experience this you may experience that then i could have told myself that you know what you're going through these things but there are a lot of other people who are experiencing the same things because during that time i'd feel lonely i'd feel upset i'd be seeing everyone going out appearing to be having the best time of their life don't be fooled people will show you on snapchat they're living their best life during freshest week universities this universities that when really inside they might be dying they might be breaking broken inside and so when i was being surrounded by all of these snapchat videos these instagram stories and people appearing to be enjoying themselves at university it broke me because i was like i'm having anxiety why am i not feeling like everyone else here but then when i realized that hold on the people behind those cameras are probably just as anxious as i am and they aren't happy with being at university that's when i realized and i felt comfort in knowing that there were many other people in exactly the same position as me and that I wasn't the only one who was feeling this way because I understood that as university students we will go through some struggles but we will also go through some very very good times and make really really good friends. However I must say my second year was my favourite year, it was my best year because I went into second year with an open mind not expecting anything i was kind of expecting the worst to be honest i was expecting it to be difficult i was expecting it you know to really test me and because there were no expectations to meet in second year i enjoyed it a lot more because i was able to 
just do things without expecting something good or something bad to happen and just let it be and that's why i really enjoyed second gym more than i did first because i went in anticipating it to be absolutely amazing when in reality for many people it's like a make or break situation it's just a way of testing who that person is during their first year this seems like such a negative video i'm really sorry but i thought i would say these things because these are some of the unspoken truths that aren't mentioned when before you go to university and so i thought you know what let me just say them so that people can say you know at least someone told me because i wish someone had told me the things that i'd experienced so that i could have sort of prepared for it or kind of when it happened kind of thought to myself you know what this happens to other people so i shouldn't feel too bad it would have given me a sense of comfort but anyway here i am to tell you and i hope you guys find this useful i know it's very negative there are many many good aspects about university it's just in this video i focused on the negatives because i'm sure you have been told about the positives you have been informed about it so i thought you know what let me do a different video so that people are a bit more of aware of the realities of university